Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to part 3 of my C++ beginners tutorial. Uh, this time we're going to build a money counter. Um, so basically we're going to be using all the things that we've learned in the last two tutorials and just implemented into an app actual application that you can use in your day to day life if you if you ever wanted to. Um, it's going to be pretty pretty interesting. It's going to be a fairly quick tutorial though. Um, so yeah, let's get let's get straight into it. Just uh, using the same same file that we've been using for the last tutorials, just to make it easy. It's going to be fairly quick, like I was saying, um, about five minutes, five to ten minutes, hopefully. So we'll just jump straight into it. So we're going to be doing C out, and I'm going to be using my currency um, from Australia. So if you have other currencies, make sure you definitely use your currency, or else you'll get confused. Base so, in if you're um, from America or uh, Britain, wherever you're from, just um, just in here, for example, just say um, I don't know what whatever you, whatever is your lowest. We're gonna go in an ascending order, so you go your lowest to your highest. My lowest is five cent pieces. Yours might be uh, pennies, or um, I'm not sure if it's quid for British. I'm not sure. I'm sorry if that is wrong. But whatever is your lowest, just go to your lowest, and then make an integer, and then call it, uh, call it by its actual name, so pennies, five cent, um, whatever you, whatever you call it, and then do a, a console in, and remember these, and remember your um, uh, co semicolons. All right. So yep, I'm just gonna speed through a little bit. We're just gonna be doing the exact same thing. For all of them, what sense do you have? It's a pretty good program. I design. Well, I didn't. It's not fully my idea. I did find it on a book that I am using for my university studies, but they were doing it a lot different way to this. And um, overall, the concept's still the same. And it is a good, good practice to your skills that you've been building um, in my last two tutorials. To follow along, you should be able to follow on pretty quickly and easily with this, and writing the same stuff. So yeah, I'm just up to twenty cents. Um, I'm just gonna. I'll probably stop at one dollar. I do have. I do go up to um, two dollars in coinage, but and then I have my notes. But I'll just stop at a dollar for now. Just um, make the video a bit quicker. You know, don't want to be wasting your time with me just writing away and talking crap on TV on YouTube. <laughs> See out um, how many one dollar do you have in dollar in one dollar? I like to put underscores for my integers. It makes it look very neat. This is how I actually do write my uh, programs. So if you if you want to, you know take it in and use it for how you do it as well that's fine i am contradicting myself from last episode where i'm saying that you should always assign your variable um in this case it's going to be okay because as soon as we make it we're going to be immediately putting something into it whereas if we made it up here all of them where it could take time to put something in there so we're immediately fixing it and it should be fine. If you're really worried about it, though, you can easily do that. It won't break your program. Um, anyway, let's continue. So, I've, I've got up to a dollar. I've got five cent, ten cent, twenty cent, fifty cent, and one dollar. So now we'll make the the t total. So we're gonna do a double for more more precision. And all you do is you just go 
five cent times, and this is where you put your actual value for your um, for your currency. So my five cent piece is obviously five cents, so it's less than a dollar. It's only five cents, and then we go plus, and then we go ten cent, and then we times that by ten ten cents, and then we go plus, and it's okay the space like this. It won't break your code. It's still it's looking for that semicolon to end the line. So this is this is perfectly acceptable. So it just keeps keeps your code a little bit more cleaner, you know. And we'll just keep going on, and we'll just go twenty cent plus. Uh, what was that up to? Fifty cents times zero point five zero plus. One dollar, and then we times that by the one zero zero, and that is all. So, in so so what we've done right now, what what when the program starts is basically going to be basically going to be asking the user for how many of this. We're making an integer of five cents, and then we're asking the user for an input. And then we're doing it uh, four more times for tens, twenties, fifties and a dollar. And then right down in the in this part, this is the real program part here, is the um <coughs> excuse me. The double five cent times timesing one five cent by the zero point zero five, then we're plusing it onto a ten cent variable, then the twenty cent, then the fifty cent and the dollars. So that's how we're going to be adding up all the money. And then we're just going to make a quick and dirty total value of money equals dollar sign. And you can see that I'm not putting a space there. It's because I want to have my dollars all jammed up. Uh, here's a new operator that you guys haven't learned yet that I forgot. Oh, no, I did show you in the first episode. Uh, backslash n. Uh, throw down in the comments if you remember what that is. <laughs> all right, all right, and that is all. Uh, that is a money counting program for you that you can use on your own, and it will work perfectly the same. So, so like I was saying, if you have pennies and it equals to one cent, make sure you just change that to one like that. That's that's all. That, that's all it is. It's very simple, very straightforward, easy program to build. Alright, so let's play it. Alright, we'll say I have, let's say I have 5 cents, so that equals 20. I have 2 tens, that equals 40. I have 120, that equals 60. I have 0 50s, and I have $1, so that would equal $1.60. $1, $1 ah. Oh. Never mind, I was meant to be a 4 in my head, it was a 4. I'm sure it was. <laughs> That's correct, $1.65. So yeah, there you go. Pretty simple program. Easy to make, easy to... From what you've learned from the last two tutorials, you can easily follow along with this. Hopefully you've practiced and, you know, you've been following along and doing the same, uh, doing the stuff. You can see what's happening, the the, the workings. And yeah, you can definitely expand on this. You can add your notes, so I can easily add um, more more stuff to this just by going how many two dollar. I know that I should be saying two dollar coins, but it doesn't really matter for right now. <laughs> Excuse me. In two dollars, it's in two dollar. So I could just do that real quickly and then I just come down here and I just go plus two dollar times two point zero zero done. Uh, that's how easy it is to add and then you can add five dollar notes or whatever note currency you have so you can just sit there and you know excuse me quickly and very easily add all your stuff up. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe and definitely comment if you have any need of help. I'll always comment back and I'll always try and comment quickly. So, yep. Yeah. Um, have a good day and goodbye.